For some of you, the idea of creating a budget may seem daunting. Where do you start? What if your numbers are wrong? Uh, you hate numbers in general. I get it. I've been in the same place. But here's the thing. You know how your shot lists always seem to change once you get on set? There was a park here two weeks ago. Right? But because you created them in advance, you're able to adjust your shots on the fly. You were prepared for the eventual curveballs that filmmaking always throw us. Okay, and quiet on the set. Rolling. When you know and understand the numbers going into your production, your ability to financially manage the production is heightened. Otherwise, it's like driving a car without a gas gauge. You have no idea how far away you are from running on fumes. Here's the other thing. Spreadsheets are your friend because they do the math for you. You just need to understand the basic formulas and mechanics behind creating a video budget sheet. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. <laughs> now, I found I don't need expensive budgeting software with hundreds of line items when I'm making simple online videos. They're great for feature films and other large projects, but for short form video, I just need something simple. So I either use Excel, Numbers, or even Google Spreadsheets. I also find it's better to create my own spreadsheet form as it's easy for me to adjust uh, to the different types of projects that I produce. Now a budget is an estimate of what you think a project is gonna cost over a period of time. You create it by estimating the number of resources, people, rentals, spendables, will be used for a specific period of time, hours, days, weeks, or at what quantity of an item, and then at what cost, their rate or cost per item. That's our basic formula. Amount of the resource times how much time or units of that item we need times its rate or price. Uh, an example, you need a voiceover for a corporate video. Your voiceover actor tells you it will take two hours to record. The rate is $350 an hour for a total of $700. Another example, you need to rent two GoPros for a two-day car shoot. And the GoPros rent for $50 a day for a total of $200. Pretty simple, right? Now each row in our form represents a type of resource, our line items like our voiceover actor and the GoPro rental. You just add in whatever people or items you anticipate you'll need for your production. For a two minute animated explainer video, it might just be a director producer, After Effects animator, illustrator, editor, and a voiceover actor. Now the columns represent the sections of our formula, the amount, people, rentals, expendables, multiplied by how much time, hours, days, weeks, or units, multiplied by that resource's rate or price. If they bill by the hour, you want an hourly rate, day a day rate, and so on. Sometimes you may have someone on what's called a flat rate. They get paid one price for the work they produce regardless of time spent. In other words, there's no unit of time in the unit column. For example, you may only have $600 in your budget for the voiceover. If your voiceover talent agrees to that flat price, you put in one unit for the time, and the increment is flat. If your unit is a quantity that you purchase, say expendables like cans of fog or rolls of black wrap, you would use the unit each and list that price. The next step is to total all of your line items using the sum formula to find out your budget total. 
I've created subtotals for the categories I sort my budgets by, the standard categories of pre-production, production, and post. I create the subtotals in a separate column though, so I can easily total that column at the bottom using the same sum formula. So that's the basic bare bone mechanics behind creating your own video budget spreadsheet. There's a lot more detail and nuance to the actual budgeting process beyond that, but we'll cover that in another video. Bottom line is, when you create your own budget form, you can create it any way you want, any way that works for you. And as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward thing to do. Thanks for watching. Let us know any topics you would like us to cover and subscribe to our channel to see new videos posted weekly. Until next time. And cut. <laughs>